Donald came out with the hottest shoe of 2024. Right? These Look at every, those. everybody loves these shoes. Wow. Every, everybody loves these shoes. They're beautiful. They're ankle support. The, I did my best version of them today. Those are kind of the female version. Yeah. But everybody's been talking about the Trump shoes, but we want to talk about the real shoes. Oh. These are the No Balance Bidens. <laughs> you see, they're No Balance. Wow. Do you like it? Do you see that? Those are really you nice. You can hold one, too. Would those you like? are really something. What size are these? Holy Toledo, these, these are a 15. These are size 15, yeah. These are big. These are, uh, and we've got the, this is really how he probably writes his name, which this is, is, this is So compare these. Can we do like a side-by-side, -side, the Biden with the yeah. uh, Trump Force Ones? Well, yeah, no, these not, not these. <laughs> these are These are ugly shoes, but... What do you think about that, the fact that Joe Biden can't walk up Air Force One steps? You know, um, I know that there's a gait issue. Um, and by that, I mean he can't really walk very well. Yeah. But this is the problem. This is supposed to be the leader of the free world. You have to present yourself a certain way if you want to get respect from the rest of the world. And unfortunately, whether it's the fact that Joe Biden can't really talk, he can't, I mean, Bless his heart. This guy can't even speak when there's a teleprompter it's elder in abuse, front of right? him. Yeah, somebody needs to be reeling him in, giving him a warm blanket and a nice cup of cocoa, and just let him just let him relax. Yeah, because now I'm I'm honestly I listen I, before the before the freaking uh, 2020 election. You know I was like despised Joe Biden. You know I look at him like Barack Obama. I think they're the like scum of the earth. I mean that. But now I'm almost empathetic to Joe Biden because he's. You have Doesn't to feel he, a little sorry I'm for I'm saying him. I feel a little bad. Yeah. I mean, I hate his policies, but I'm talking about the man Joe Biden because he's not making any decisions. And you see him, he's almost reminding me of Mitch McConnell when Mitch McConnell froze. Like he's having these hiccups where you need to be taken care of, not taken care of the country. Yeah, I mean, even the special counsel said, yeah, this guy took classified documents for decades. We know what he did was wrong, but because he doesn't have his faculties about him, we're not going to really do anything about it. I mean... That's pretty bad. Well, speaking of calling out politicians, I want to play this little clip. And this is, once again, your father-in-law helped me call out the Plano City Council. They're having a lot of transgender issues in their school district. They're, they're like, not putting litter boxes, but kind of they're putting weird books and stuff and doing all kinds of crazy stuff in Plano. So I had your father-in-law call these people out. Let's oh. get your instant reaction. The one, the only, 45th president of the United States of America President Donald Trump. Are you there, President Trump? Well, of course, uh, you know, I'm uh, happy that you're talking to the city council. I hear they're tremendous people, and I hear we're going to be bringing these shoes in. These are tremendous shoes. They're out of a Nikki Haley and an Escalade. You know what I'm talking about? We want to see the children. We want to see them wear the shoes and perform in the shoes and do a tremendous <laughs> job in the shoes. Isn't that right? Isn't that correct? Isn't that correct? Yes, President Trump, you making the shoes mandatory for all school uniforms and Plano School District would yeah. be great. And I think that would help the city. So what do you think about that? Making it mandatory for the school uniforms to have the Trump shoes in Plano? First of all, I'm just going to say good hair there. I liked whatever we were doing. Did you like that? that Am I not working. doing it right there? Okay, well, yeah. I cut it a little bit, I think, since then. Oh, but. okay. We had a real swoop going. Uh -huh. Yeah. Who wouldn't love, what liberal city wouldn't love to have the Trump shoes as required uniforms for the kids at these schools? Absolutely. First of all, those are, can I tell you really quickly a story about these shoes? Please. No one told any of us in our family that they were going to put these shoes out there, and then none of us got any Yeah, because I tried to buy it. It was $2,400 by yeah. the time I went to eBay. So you, what? So you're telling me, Jimmy, this clip, this. President Trump's daughter-in-law couldn't even get the Trump shoes because I would try to get them. Yeah. Oh, all these people were texting me, how do I get the shoes? I'm like, dude, I didn't even get the shoes. Wow. That, That's how special these shoes are. I mean, I may go on eBay. I saw 450 grand for a pair of these shoes. You never know. Well, Could we, be worth it. We had Roman Scharf on, the guy that had the first pair, and he ended up getting to meet your uh, father-in-law, and uh, he spent $9,000. Wow. On mm -hmm. Gosh. But well, he's a sneaker collector. Like, did you see a fat Joe had the shoes, and he was getting made fun of? We should have had that clip. We'll put it in a post. Oh, I haven't seen that. So, now, me as a sneaker collector, I had to get my hand on the Trumps. Once again, I'm not a Trumper. I dislike Trump. I'm not voting for him. Not now, not never. But I'm a sneaker collector into the art. So I had to find these. Fat Joe's obviously one of the most famous rappers. Yeah. And he bought the Trump shoes. And he had to make a video talking about it. He's like, it's not that I love Donald Trump. It's that I'm a sneakerhead. And I love, you no, know. You know what? He should have just embraced it and given him two fingers and just been like, that's it. 
That's the kind of attitude people need to start having. And I think people are coming around to that. I feel like there's been a shift. People are like, you know what? We're done. We're not trying to hide that we like Donald Trump anymore because, quite frankly, America is going to be destroyed if he's not back in office. The, forget it. The rest of the world follows suit. People need to just start speaking up and speaking loudly. Don't apologize for getting a pair of Donald Trump sneakers. I'm so fly, I'm with the planes. My grind's so refined, I got no time for no games. Ask yourself 